Hey everyone, this is Mark Philip Studica, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this light detector using the MyStem project board with the National Instruments MyDeck and LabVIEW software. So by the end of this project you'll have something that looks like this and basically what we have here is a laser emitter and I have a photoresistor and when I hit this photoresistor with the laser you'll see that the LED light turns red when I go off the resistor it turns back to green so it's basically detecting when you know significant amount of light is hitting it and when ambient light's hitting it and it changes the color accordingly. All right, so the things you're going to need are obviously the MyDAC right here and you'll need this MyStem project board which you can get at studica.com. You'll need a type B USB cable right here which will run to your computer. Obviously, you need a computer and the LabVIEW software to actually accomplish all this. Additionally, you're going to need a uh, some kind of external power supply. This is a 12 volt DC power supply. You might be able to get away with a 9 volt um, but it uses this kind of connector as well because that will end up plugging in up here on the my stem board. So you need to have one of these in order to make everything work. Now you'll also need some uh, sensors and so right here I have a SunFounder uh, photoresistor and this takes a 3 pin anti-reverse cable so you'll also need one of those for this. Uh, you don't have to use SunFounder, you could use any sort of photoresistor as long as it has a uh, signal out socket, like this one does right here on my yellow cable. You will also need a dual color LED for this project. This is a 3-pin dual color LED, so you'll need another 3-pin anti-reverse cable. Again, this is a SunFounder LED. And then you'll need a laser emitter. Sorry, there we go. Um, this takes a 2-pin anti-reverse cable. It's a very straightforward little laser. This is from SunFounder as well. And lastly, to top that all off, you'll just need um, two pin-to-pin anti-reverse cables like this to supply power to the breadboard. And that should be all you need. So I've already done this step off camera, but I plugged the MyStem into the MyDAC using the uh, serial port here. It's actually very straightforward. You just push the thing in and it will work. I've already connected the MyDAC up to my laptop. And what you want to do is get your external power supply, uh, whether it's nine volts or 12 volts or whatever, and plug it in here on the side. And you'll want to make sure that your switch on the MyStem is uh, switched towards the board, not away from the board. This uh, means that this is, this is essentially the on position here. So now that we have our power supply in there, we need to actually run power to our breadboard. So I'm gonna take my red pin to pin cable and plug it into the five volt socket here. I'm gonna plug this into the positive part of the breadboard and then I'm gonna plug the black pin to pin cable into the ground port there. Plug this into the negative part of the breadboard. Now we have power running. I'm gonna go ahead and get the laser working. So I'm gonna plug the VCC cable from the laser, uh, which on mine is the red cable. Yours might look different, but I'm gonna plug the uh, VCC part into the positive strip here on the breadboard. And I'm gonna plug the ground part into the uh, black, or sorry, into the ground part of the breadboard. It's very straightforward, very simple breadboarding right now, but you'll see now that I have a laser working. So I'm supplying, uh, this is I think roughly five volts running through this. So now I'm gonna plug the photoresistor in. So I'm gonna take my VCC signal, which is my red cable here. I'm gonna plug it into the uh, positive power part, power supply of the breadboard. Uh, there's a ground cable, which is my black cable. I'm gonna plug this into ground. And once I do that, you'll see that we now have power running to the photoresistor. However, there's also this third port here, which is our signal port. Now the signal is what we're gonna be throwing into LabVIEW to actually um, use the data to dictate how we change the color on our LED. So what I'm gonna do is plug this into the A1 uh, plus one port here on the my stem board. You'll see it's the uh, the block in the middle and there's a plus one port right here and this is where we're going to be plugging it into and we'll be able to call on this in lab view to uh, basically 
grab this data. Now what this block is gonna do is take this digital signal coming from the photoresistor and it's actually gonna convert it to analog data so that we can actually tell essentially how much light is being resisted by the photoresistor at any given time. And then we can use that value to dictate logic within our LabVIEW program. Now lastly, we wanna hook up our dual color LED. So on this one, there's actually a red, a green, uh, and a ground uh, port. So I'm gonna go and plug ground right into the uh, blue strip here for my ground port. And then I'm gonna plug my red into my DIO zero port and my green is going to go into my DIO one port. And once I do that, you'll see that the green light turns on. Uh, I don't quite know why to be honest because I'm not running anything, but I, I guess it's just letting me know that there's power supplied. Uh, but these are gonna be digital output ports. So the MyDAC will be able to actually send a signal to either the red or green uh, out input here, depending on what we send through the LabVIEW program. All right, so now that we have all this actually plugged in and we see everything turned on and lit up, we can actually go into LabVIEW and start creating our program. So the first thing that you have to do is open up LabVIEW and what I'm gonna do is create a new project. And I'm just gonna choose to create a blank VI and uh, I'm gonna set my workspace up a little bit here so I have both windows. Uh, so all we really need are a few basically numerical indicators, some LED indicators, and then we need to put the logic on the back end with the block programming. I'm going to assume that you already know something about LabVIEW. Uh, I'm not gonna be going over absolute basics, so if you don't understand LabVIEW, you might wanna look at some other tutorials first. So the, the first thing we need to put is a numeric uh, indicator. So you right click here in the front panel, choose numeric, choose numeric indicator. I'm just gonna put that right there and this is just gonna be called value. Uh, and then I'm gonna have two LED booleans. Uh, I'll do round LEDs. This one's going to be for the green LED light. And this one is going to be for the red LED light. And these will light up and indicate which one is active depending on the inputs of uh, the photoresistor. So what I need to do on the red, the green will light up green, but the red is still set to green, so I need to right click on that and choose properties. And here under colors where it says on, I need to change this uh, color to red, then hit okay. Now those are all set up, that's fine. And then the last thing I've got to put is another Boolean. I'm gonna do a switch, and this switch is going to be uh, for quitting. So I'm gonna rename it to quit. And on the back end, we'll end up uh, connecting this to our while loops exit condition so that we can leave uh, our program if we need to. So over here on the block diagram, what we need to do is actually get input from our MyDAC. So we right click, I'm going to go under the Express Tools, choose Input, and then click on DAC Assist. I'm going to place one of those in here, and then I'm going to choose Acquire Signals. I'm going to choose Analog Input, and I'm going to choose Voltage. Now, if you remember when we wired the MyStem, we sent the uh, signal of the LED, or sorry, of the photoresistor to our AI1 uh, input. So I'm gonna choose AI1 and click Finish. And all this is fine. Um, I shouldn't need to change any of the data in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on OK. Now my, build, my VI is gonna build a little bit. And uh, what I need to do is send the data from this out to our value here. So I'm going to click this uh, and wire it to the value. And if I, oh wait, I need to also create a loop first. So I'm gonna right click and choose structures. I'm gonna do a while loop. I'm gonna put all of this stuff inside of a giant while loop. I'm gonna move my quit button down here and wire it to the exit condition of my loop. Otherwise my program won't run. You have to have something that will close your loop or else it won't let you run your program. So if I run this right now, what we'll see is that the value over here on the right side of my, uh, my front panel, it's just got a bunch of random data going in there right now. If I shine my photoresistor on the photo, or sorry, if I shine my laser on the photoresistor, you'll see that value drop to around 1.5. 
uh, and if I take it off, like right now, it goes to about three. So we can see that we're actually acquiring that data, but now we actually have to use that data uh, and do something with it because our, our MyDAC has to be sending uh, output to our LED light. That's the whole point of the project. So the other thing I need, so what I need to do right now is create a comparison. So I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to go under comparison. I'm going to choose uh, greater than. I'm going to place that in here. I'm going to connect the first argument of my uh, if statement essentially is going to be the data from the MyDAC. So it's going to be this analog value here. Um, if we look at the data as it ran normally, it kind of hovered in my ambient light. It kind of hovered around 2.6 to 3. So we can kind of determine that if we shine the laser on it, it should drop below 2, uh, a value of 2. So I would put our threshold at roughly 2, and that's going to be the constant that I'm going to use to compare my input data to um, that constant value so that I know when to turn on, say, a red light versus a green light. And uh, it'll make more sense when I actually do it. So in here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go under numeric and choose numeric constant. I'm going to put that right here, and I'm going to put two inside of that. Now I'm going to click on the right side of this to wire it onto the second argument of my if statement. And so now if I wire this uh, to the green LED button, this is only going to execute if our incoming data is greater than two. So that's basically saying if we are hitting ambient light, then just make the LED be green. And so if I actually play this now, you'll see that my green LED over here on my front panel is lit up as my value is over two. Now if I shine my laser on it, on the photoresistor, you'll see it drop to about 1.5 and that LED turns off. Now I also need a different conditional for my red uh, functionality, right? So what I'm gonna be doing for my red is when I shine my laser on it, we're essentially hitting a value of roughly 1.5 on the photoresistor. I'm gonna go ahead and use probably 1.8 or maybe two as our threshold again. So I'm gonna say if the value is less than two, um, then execute the red LED. So all I'm gonna do here is create another uh, comparison operator for less than. I'm gonna click it in here. And again, I'm gonna wire the data uh, from my MyDAC onto the X variable of my less than operator. And then I'm just going to wire let me move this over. I'm going to wire this uh, constant, the two constant, to the y variable here. So again, we're comparing against two, but the difference here is that if we're less than two, then we're going to execute the red LED. Now, if I play this, um, you'll see that the green LED is on in ambient light. And right now, you can't see it, but I'm shining the laser on the photoresistor, and you see the red turn on. I take it off, it goes to green. Put it on, goes to red. Take it off, goes to green. Okay, so I'm going to move things around a little bit. I'm going to put my LED indicators kind of out of the way. And now what we need to do is actually send digital data out to the uh, my stem board. So in the block diagram, I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Express. I'm going to do Output and choose DAC Assistant again. I'm going to place this one near the red port. And on the window that comes up, I'm going to choose Generate Signal, Digital Output, Line Output. And I'm going to choose Line Zero. And the way you know which line to use is that we plugged, if you recall, we plugged our uh, red input from our dual color LED into the DIO zero, uh, zero channel. So line zero corresponds with that zeroth channel that we plugged our red LED into, or the red cable for the LED. So this digital output here will send to the red cable. And then we can hit finish. Uh, this is all fine, so we hit OK. And then it's gonna build the uh, VI. Now what we can do is wire the cable from our less than output into the data input of this DACA system. And if you recall, this is our line zero, so this is for our red data, which is only going to activate if we hit a value less than two, according to our diagram. So we also have to do this for the green uh, option. So we need to hit express, go to output, DAC assistant, left click in there, choose generate signal, digital output, line output. And then if you recall, our green, um, uh, our green wire was plugged into the uh, first channel of our DIO port. So we're gonna choose line one, hit finish, hit okay. 
I'm gonna move this over. And again, I'm gonna connect this uh, output here to the DAC input here. And so this should be all we need. And now if I run this, everything should work. And uh, you should actually see when you hit the photoresistor with the laser, you'll see the dual color LED go red. So our live view program is running right now. And you can see that our uh, LED is green. Now, if I grab my laser and I take my photoresistor, you'll see on the photoresistor there's this coil sticking off the end of it, and you can bend these uh, little, you can bend the little wires around so that you can position it however you want. But if I shine my light directly onto that coil, you'll see the light, the dual, the you'll see the LED change color to red. If I take it off, you'll see it change to green. Uh, on it's red, off it's green. Again, on is red, off is green. And that's pretty much all we've done. Uh, that's what our LabVIEW program is doing. It seems to be working as intended. And you saw, and you should see on your LabVIEW program, you should see your LEDs on your front panel changing from green to red. And you should be able to see the different analog value that you get when you hit the sensor with your laser versus the ambient light of your room. Now, one thing to note is if your sensor is constantly triggering red or constantly triggering green, you might have to mess around with that constant number threshold that we created. On my program, I did two, but depending on the light in your room, you might need to change that to something higher or something lower. So basically tweak around with it uh, and see if you find a value that works better for you. And that makes the end of this demonstration. Hopefully you found this interesting and hopefully you can have some fun with it and maybe come up with some different ideas to play around with. If you're interested in the MyStem board, we sell this on our website at www.studica.com. We're the exclusive manufacturer and distributor for this piece. So it's a pretty fun uh, piece of hardware and you can do quite a bit with it, as you can see. I hope to do some more stuff in the future like this. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.